Welcome back to our British Romanian Encounters on International Museum Day. I'm pleased to welcome this afternoon curators Peter Harap, Anna McNay, and Florin Unguranu, who will be talking about the Beyond Other Horizons exhibition at the Art Museum of Yash. Anna, Peter, and Florin, thank you for joining us. Hello. Hello. Thank you for Hello. having me. How did this ambitious project take shape and what is the link with Romanian-born poet Paul Celan? Peter, would you like to start or Anna? Anna, you start. Okay, I'll start. So um, I've been working, well I was involved in an exhibition that took place, I've lost track of time, but two years ago in Gdansk in Poland. Um, and Peter was aware of that and I think originally the idea was, um, so that was largely organised by Robert Prizman um, and the idea originally was that we wanted to take that or a version of that to Yash um, but as we went along it changed quite radically. Um, a lot of the artists are the same, they come from a group called Contemporary British Painting um, but then we kind of invited new artists and then the idea came to obviously have Romanian artists as well um, and then due to restrictions on what we could transport. It became works on paper. So yeah, it did change and grow. It was an exciting time. Um, but Peter's, it was Peter's idea to um, base it around Paul Salan. So maybe you want to say about that? Uh, well, so, so basically we, we took the idea of the Gdansk made in, in Britain exhibition, which is an excellent, an excellent show. Um, as Anna was saying, it was the Contemporary British Painters Group. And so what we then uh, tried to do is find a, a, a nice relationship between Romanian artists and, and British artists. Um, and so I just finished up doing an exhibition on, on um, a romantic artist called John Constable, and he was, he was uh, primarily interested in walking. So I was walking and painting. So I wanted to do something completely different. I'd been stuck in the, the 18th century or the 1820s, sorry, for a, for a good long time. So I wanted to bring it right up to speed, right up to date, um, looking at contemporary, contemporary painters. And so that's why um, I suddenly happened upon Paul Celan's uh, poem about Maitsby Road. And uh, the Maitsby Road poem is just wonderful in that it's, it's this walk down, down a road in London but at the same time, he's reminiscing about his hometown in, in Romania, in what was Romania at the time. Um, and it takes these big leaps from, from London roads through to the death of Martin Luther King, which was going on at the same time. So you've got this surreal juxtaposition of, of London, Romania and contemporary news at, at that particular moment. So that's where the inspiration came from. And Paul Solan, of course, being, being one of the, the, the most major um, bilingual poets of, of the last century. His lifespan covers such a, uh, um, an amazing period in, in Romanian history uh, that, uh, that he's just been wonderful to work with, a great inspiration. Who supported the project? Uh, Peter, maybe you can uh, still go ahead. Um, well, I've been working alongside the ICR since 2006, actually, <laughs> funny enough, in different shapes and forms. Um, and very sweetly, um, uh, you very much, you, you helped a lot with the, the, the building of the, the exhibition. Um, and, and Florin, um, what happened is in, in 2010, Florin was around in London um, and I was putting on an exhibition at the Royal Academy. And, the, and Florin came along to the Royal Academy exhibition and he thought, wow, maybe we could do this in Yash. So, um, so, the seeds were sown in 2006, they came to a fruition in, in 2010, 2011, and then again they've come to a fruition again um, just now in, in Yash. So it's an ongoing story. Florine, maybe uh, you'd like uh, to tell us a few words about Yash and its art museum. Uh, yes, it's, uh, uh, it's a privilege and a pleasure to, to be able to work here as an art curator at the Yash Art Museum uh, under the patronage of the Palace of Culture, uh, under the guidance of uh, General Manager La Cremera Stratulat. And uh, being a wonderful museum that was built in 1925, uh, houses a beautiful collection of 
over more than 10,000 works. And uh, we had this chance to, to meet and uh, with Peter and uh, a little bit later with Anna and uh, we started up this wonderful project. And uh, it's wonderful to, to be able to, to have done it here in Yash at the beginning of March. We had a private view on the 3rd of March and uh, with the support from the, the Palace of Culture and from our director museum, Valentina Druzzo, we, we brought over all the works from 80 something artists, British and Romanian artists. And uh, we intended to, to be like a beautiful uh, platform, uh, like a bridge between the Romanian culture and the British culture, British artists and Romanian artists, and uh, to create wonderful connections. And uh, uh, we had the opening on the 3rd of March with the British Council Symposium uh, that was uh, attended also by Nigel Bellingham, the British uh, uh, council director from Romania and uh, came over uh, over 20 British artists to the private view and uh, we had also Romanian artists and we, we had a wonderful time uh, just uh, before this uh, this coronavirus to start so we were lucky to enjoy the, the private view and to have the museum open for 10 days and we had lots of young people coming to see the works and uh, uh, we hope to reopen soon. Anna, how difficult a task uh, was to bring together the works of 40 British and 40 Romanian contemporary artists? Um, yeah, it wasn't easy. It's a bit like herding cats dealing with that many artists, but um, I think between us, Peter and I knew a lot of artists and we had quite a lot in common in those that we knew and we knew who we wanted to definitely have in the show so then it was a case of getting them to submit works that were relevant to the theme um, and then we we decided to split the exhibition into three curatorial themes so walking as Peter has mentioned which is central to that well to Salan's work and to, particularly to that poem uh, language and then otherness or the surreal so um, I think once we'd selected the works, um, we had an assistant curator, Jenny Rogers, helping us a lot with artist liaison and calling in images and all the details and nitty gritty stuff. Um, and then I went through the grids that she created and kind of put them in the themes that I thought best fitted. And then Peter went through and agreed or disagreed. And then I think we had lots of long phone conversations. And in the meantime, Florian was busy working away at his end doing the Romanian artists and then again they he sent those to us to look at and yeah so it, it was a lot of toing and froing it's not easy with three curators involved and one of them being in a different country um and 80 artists obviously but um I think we got there and we made good selection in the end. Well, I think I think the thing that really helped as well was that before we even got going, there were uh, two substantial groupings. One was the, the 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 British Contemporary Painting Group, and the the other was the Artists Union in Yash. And so, to be able to overlap and just bridge those two groups and select from those two groups really helped. That was great. As you've mentioned, you were all present in Yash at the beginning of March. I think uh, the opening was uh, on the third of March. Can you tell us more about uh, the occasion and who were the British artists present? Well, it, we had about 20, 20 of us came over um, and we gave a symposium on the 3rd of March, which was supported by Nigel Bellingham. And Nigel Bellingham, uh, who's British Council, Romania, came up from Bucharest and uh, he gave an address and, and, and welcomed everybody into the, the, the Palace of Culture for, for the for a full day of symposium we thought it would just be a, a brief thing but it went on and on in a good way um and we uh, we, we talked the whole day um ab about different aspects of, of salan with with about uh, five there were five or six universities represented um along with the george anescu uh, national museum for the arts and uh, and and i'm from ucl so so and we had leeds and huddersfield and sheffield 
uh, university, all, all involved. Um, and the artists uh, all gave personal talks alongside a broader context of, of, of Solange's, uh, an appreciation of Solange's poetry. Um, and then we just went on and had a lovely um, uh, evening private view with the mayor from the city and, and Lacrimoia Stratulat and Valentina Drutru. Um, and then the following day, uh, also the day after that, we, we went up to the chapels of, uh, of, of uh, up, on the, up on the Moldavian border, so Bukovina chapels. It must have been heartbreaking for you to see the art museum closing shortly after the opening. What are the short-term plans for the exhibition? Maybe Florin? Uh, yes, um, we are eagerly waiting uh, for the museum to reopen and we hope very soon and uh, to offer the visitors here in Yash uh, a beautiful experience for the 15 or 20 days that are left from our show and uh, we are very happy because uh, we have uh, lots of visitors from all over the world having the, this wonderful airport in Yash. We have tourists coming from Australia, from Canada, from United States, from UK, Italy, and so on. And um, in, in uh, this period that we were closed to coronavirus, we continued our activity online on all the platforms on Facebook, YouTube, and so on. And uh, we are also very happy to have the support from the Palace of Culture, from La Cramera Stratulat and Valentina Druzzu. To, and we are working now, it's a work in progress, to produce a beautiful catalog with all the artists involved in the exhibition. And uh, after we'll uh, finish the exhibition here in Yash, we are working now to, to find a beautiful gallery museum space in Bucharest and uh, to take it there. And uh, after Bucharest, with a little bit of luck, we might be taking the exhibition to Zurich in Switzerland. And after that, to go back to London and uh, in a beautiful place where me, Peter and Anna and I are continuously working to find a beautiful gallery there in London or elsewhere in UK. And uh, in the end, to be as I am also a British citizen. I feel at home in Yash, I feel at home in London. So uh, it's, it's nice to, to be able to continue these beautiful uh, contacts and uh, collaborations between uh, Romanian uh, institutions like the Palace of Culture, the University of Arts here, the Union of Artists here, all the Romanian artists. And uh, we are happy to have uh, artists from all corners of Romania. Uh, from Timisoara, from Arad, from Bucharest, and uh, from Yash. And uh, a few of them, they have um, already a very good uh, career path. And it's nice to, to wave this together with the British artists. Uh, for example, we have uh, one of the artists showing in the exhibition is the director uh, of uh, MFA Fine Art from Goldsmiths College, the famous Goldsmiths College from London, David Mab. And uh, it's uh, amazing to, to create these good connections with the British institutions and, and for the future to have uh, good connections and uh, projects. And uh, yes, as, I, as we imagined, Anna and Peter and I and all, everyone involved to be a beautiful platform, to be a bridge between our societies. Our, uh, and even though Brexit happened, we keep it together as artists. So. We, we love that. So you're confident yeah. that the exhibition will still be on display uh, when the museum will open and maybe for a couple of uh, weeks more? We hope with all our hearts. It really depends on uh, how the corona situation virus evolves. And uh, we are hoping that we'll get the chance to, to show to the international visitors to Yash uh, our exhibition for one other period and uh, it really depends on how the things are coming down from Bucharest, from the Ministry of Culture and so on. But we hope with all our hearts to, to be able to continue to show these beautiful works from the British and Romanian artists. 
You've mentioned um, uh, the wider context of the celebrations in 2020 of 140 years of British-Romanian diplomatic relations. You are all supporters of British-Romanian collaborations in the fields of arts and universities, for which I would like to thank you. What other projects are you involved in or have you have in mind for the future? Um, I've, got, I've got something in the pipeline which I've been dreaming, dreaming of, which I've been talking to the, the Menare Bucharest about putting on a, a Constable Russo Grigorescu Andreescu show, because there are uh, uh, bilateral links across all of those um, uh, countries, purely through the artists, um, which, is, which is really lovely, the way in which Constable sent his pictures to France and Russo uh, set up a, a school in Barbizon, and then Grigorescu and Andreescu came all the way from, from Bucharest to, to Barbizon to paint there. And those, um, those wonderful paintings can be found in the VNA for the constables and the, and the Russos, and then, and then in the Menare for the, for the um, Grigorescu and the Andreescu. And uh, so it'd be lovely to try and bring, coordinate something that would bring the, that, that project together and hopefully before 2026, which is Constable's 250th uh, anniversary of his birth. So it'd be great to bring all those artists together. That's my hope, dream. <laughs> In, for, for London, for the UK um, uh, artistic scene, we need to start working now. Yes, exactly. <laughs> There's a lot of support for it. There's a lot of support. We've just got to, got to cement it. Anna? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm primarily a writer and editor. The curating is kind of a, a, a side for pleasure thing. Um, so as Florin mentioned, with this Beyond Other Horizons, we're working at the moment to really get the catalogue finished because that's going to be the long lasting legacy of the exhibition, whether or not it does have much more of a run in Yash and wherever it goes after that. And it'll also be like a, a calling card for other museums so that we can find venues. Um, so we've got two really great people in Yash working on the design at the moment and um, the texts are all in there. And so we're just editing, editing that and making sure everything is correct. and. That, that's, I mean, I know that's the same project, but that's my main focus in terms of Romanian links at the moment. And yeah. Thank you. Florin? Uh, what, what is wonderful about this exhibition, it uh, also, also highlights uh, the collection of Yash Art Museum, because a lot of, uh, we, during those 10 days that we had open between 1st and 10th of March, we had uh, lots of young visitors coming over to see the exhibition, very curious, and uh, I stayed day by day in the gallery talking to them. And also, after that, being nearby the gallery of Grigorescu and Tonitsa and Petrascu, uh, I sent them there. So, uh, in this way, uh, by having a contemporary show, we also highlight the old collections. And this is very important and very good for young generations to uh, to visit the museums in Yash, in London, in Bucharest, uh, to get acquainted with the contemporary art and with the old collections, because they they grow up together somehow. Uh, our works here are informed by uh, and inspired by seeing all these beautiful old collections, and uh, that, that is a wonderful thing to to have such a beautiful place and to exhibit here in, uh, in the Palace of Culture in Yash. Thank you very much, uh, Anna, Peter and Florin for uh, taking the time to be with us this afternoon on International Museum Day, when most of the museum, museums, both in Romania and the UK, are closed, but with a lot of um, online projects, a lot of uh, digital collections being put on display, and a lot of enthusiastic um, people like you uh, to create British-Romanian encounters. Thank you again and um, look forward to seeing the exhibition in London. Thank you very much, Magda. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you very much.